Hello. Thank you for coming. Now, today we're going to be conducting a ASMR questionnaire. So, I'm going to ask you a few questions here that I have written down on my clipboard, and I would like to I would like you to answer as honestly and simply as straightforward as you can. I'm going to record my answers down on my clipboard here, and you may notice in front of you, you have a comments section. Yes, in the description you see there are all the questions written down for you. Now, I'm going to write down your answers for my own benefit, but if you would be ever so kind as to write down your answers too in the comments section, that would be greatly appreciated. So, uh, first, the basics. Um, these ones are just for me. You don't have to write these down in the comments. <laughs> okay. Uh, what is your name? Okay. And how do you spell your last name for me, please? name. Thank you. Okay. <clears throat> and uh, what year were you born? Uh -huh. Okay. And what is your credit card pin number? I'm just kidding. You don't have to tell me that one. That's, that's a joke. We, we like to, you know, try and throw in a bit of humor. Okay. So, our first question. How long have you known about ASMR? Okay. And um, what, what was your first experience with ASMR? really quite fascinating. So, did you learn about ASMR from a friend, or did you discover it by your own merit? Okay. And which three ASM artists would you say you listen to the most? Which three artists in particular draw you in that make content that particularly appeal to you? Okay. Uh -huh. Oh, oh yes, <laughs> I watch them too. Very, very good. Did you see their latest video? Had me sleeping like a baby in 30 seconds flat. And your third ASM artist? Oh. I've never heard of that one. What type of stuff do they do? Really? Okay. Um, you spell that. Okay, I'll have to give that one a look. I surely will. Okay, and do you prefer to watch ASMR or do you prefer to, to simply listen to it? Uh huh. Okay. It does depend, doesn't it? Okay, now, 
How often do you use ASMR? How many times a week would you say? Or how many times a day? Oh, you, you'd be surprised. We've had some people that go through at least seven ASMR videos in a single day. A single day, yes. Some people even watch them while they are working, yes. They just have it on in the background. They find it helps them focus. I would be very interested to know if there is a study that can prove that ASMR would increase productivity in the workplace. That would be interesting, wouldn't it? Okay, and what days are you more likely to be watching ASMR? Is it weekends, weekdays, every night, certain nights of the week? Okay, then. And do you prefer visual, audible, or tactile triggers? Okay, you prefer that one. You want me to explain tactile triggers? Well, you see, some people even though videos simulate certain experiences, for example, getting your hair cut, the sounds can trigger the sensation, but when you're actually there having a haircut and the hairdresser is touching your head, your scalp, your face, or if someone's doing your makeup, that too can be very relaxing. You'd be surprised how physical contact can tie into ASMR. Not for everyone, as I'm sure you know. Everyone's unique, everyone's different, everyone has their own favorite triggers. So what do you use ASMR for? To relax, to sleep, to meditate, or just for the tingles? You, you can answer more than one, if you prefer. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, I thought so. Oh, no, it's, it's just a guess. I'd like to try and figure out in my head what people may or may not use ASMR for. Like I said, everyone's different. Now, do you prefer to listen to whispering? Or soft speaking. Mm -hmm. Good. Now, when listening to ASMR, which do you enjoy more? Normal paced speech, slow paced speech, or fast paced speech? these questions can be quite in depth, can't they? Okay, now this one I'm particularly interested in. Do you feel comfortable discussing ASMR with friends, family, and colleagues? I'm just a simple yes or no. Would you care to explain why you feel that way?
find it's an interesting question because even though ASMR is a growing community and millions and millions of people follow it and it's it is slowly beginning to get media coverage it's just funny how few people are comfortable talking about it in an, in an open setting did you see last year Universal Studios did a trailer for ASMR using the Grinch it's amazing you have to check it out it's surprisingly relaxing but also incredibly funny because it's it's the Grinch doing ASMR <laughs> now do you actively participate in the ASMR community uh, by that I mean do you comment on videos do you like and share the videos of your favorite ASM artists oh that's good oh you'd be surprised how much that helps oh yes I know some artists have you know links to you know be tipped or, or patreon but nothing can help as much as just liking and commenting and sharing the videos on your social media even just by watching the full video you are having such a positive impact on that asm artist I'm glad to hear it. Now, are you an ASM artist yourself? Okay, then. Now, what would you say is your favorite visual trigger? Which trigger do you like to see that really just mellows you out? that you could just watch for hours and just zone out. Do you have one of those? Oh, right. I'm very partial to light triggers myself. And how about your favorite audio trigger? What sounds trigger you? Oh, really? Oh, that's a new one. No, I've, I've never heard of, of that having an effect before. Huh. You're just full of surprises. I'll have to look into that one. Now, is there a particular combination of triggers that you enjoy or that you would like to see in an ASMR video? On a scale of 1 to 10, how would you rate your ASMR sensitivity? Yes, a scale of 1 to 10, if you please. Now, do you notice any changes in your sensitivity over time? Um, how to elaborate? For example, maybe you have a favorite trigger that has somehow lost its effect on you. Okay. And in that regard, are there any triggers that didn't affect you in the past, but now can evoke that autonomous sensory meridian response?
Oh, that one too. Okay, wonderful. Well, that concludes the questionnaire. So thank you so, so much for coming and answering these questions. As I said, if you could, please write down your answers yourself in the comment section. That would be greatly appreciated. It's not obligatory, but I think it would really aid us in our research in developing better content for you in the future. Yes. Yes, of course. Once again, thank you so, so much. All that's left is to wish you a very good night and a very good rest. Ciao.